What's good, everybody? DM Gaming here, guys. And in today's video, I want to discuss some of the top things that fans have been wanting and needing in Xenoverse 3 or upcoming Xenoverse game. Now, there's going to be timestamps down below for the topics that you're most interested in. You can go down there, skip to it, listen to that particular segment because the video might get a little lengthy. But without further ado, guys, let's get into it. So I want to go ahead and jump straight into things with transmog for those of you who don't know what transmog is transmog is basically where you can customize your armor or gear to look a, a specific way despite the stats so everybody knows in xenoverse that the clothing has attributes which is awesome phenomenal i wish kakarot did something like this however the downside is is that you might not get to wear your favorite outfit or the best looking outfit because of the stats. So keeping transmog as a part of the game, I think will be really, really cool because then you can wear the items that you want to wear or you can you can boast that look that you want to have. You know, games are going more towards this now, especially games with gear that has stats like Destiny and other games like that. Don't know why it's just not a common staple. Uh, but it is what it is because even with Xenoverse, to me, I feel like with the clothing um, that the the stats, like if you have like Beerus's armor or a God of Destruction's armor or something or an Angel's armor, that it should have the highest stats, you know. But that's a different story for a different day. Transmog needs to be in the game because me personally, I would like to look a certain way, but I don't want that affecting my stats. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to see Transmog in Xenoverse, comment down below with Transmog. OK, going straight into the next thing, guys, is we want more races. Let's let's be real. Not not races like races, races, but we want more races to play with. So we had the Boo race, the Majin race. We have the humans, the Saiyans, the Earthlings, the Namekians, and the Frieza race. A lot of people are really, really, really wanting the Android races into the game. And also, as far as like the Majin race, we want the ability to be able to transform into the Kid Boo version as well as the Super Boo and the Ultimate Boo version, not just the Chunky Boo. Like, come on, man. We got to improve on that. As far as the Earthling goes, let's keep that the same. It's not really much that you can do with that. But the Saiyans, um, give us the option to have a tail. And if we have a tail, make that tail active. Let's not just, you know, let's not just have a stiff tail going around. You know, the Namekian race there, the Freezer race. But like I said, the Android race would be a really cool one. And I have um, another race that's coming that I want to talk about, but I'm going to pair it with another topic. So. If you would like to see more transformations in the comment section down below, let me know what what type of I said transformations, didn't I? Yeah. If you would like to see more races, comment down below with the race that you want to see the most. Y'all, we, we ain't editing this, man. We doing this live. Let's go. The next thing that I want to discuss. Transformations. And on the screen, you see the Frieza transformations depicted. Why can't we have all of those? This game is apparently going to be on next gen only. I'm pretty sure it's going to use the Unreal Engine 5, which, guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I am going to do a video on Unreal Engine 5 that you don't want to miss. And I'm going to tell you why it's going to make future Dragon Ball games out of this world. But the Freezer Race. Can we get these transformations? Can we get all of them? You know, Super Saiyans, the Saiyans have like 50 million transformations. But with the Freezer Race, you just go golden. Why is that? That doesn't make any sense. Along with that, the Android race. I know people are thinking Android 17 and 18, which is fine. But what if you can have like a sale type of race with the Androids where you can customize your own sale looking Android thing. And along with that, have three different transformations. Imperfect and perfect. So or semi-perfect. Imperfect, semi-perfect, perfect ultra perfect whatever y'all get what i'm saying i think that would be crazy dope because if, before people say well will this sell same thing with freezer it ain't but one freezer well you had cooler and then you had frost but y'all get what i'm saying give us other versions of of the androids with the cell so in the comment section down below which android race if you had to choose between the two would you want in the game me personally i kind of like the this android in the aspect of cell i think it's cooler uh 
I don't know. I just I just think it's cooler. Transformations also for the Saiyans. We can't leave them out. And a lot of people have been asking for this. The Super Saiyan 4 transformation. Why this isn't a transformation already, I don't know. We literally have 1 through 3. And then we have Super Saiyan God. We have Super Saiyan Blue. Yet we don't have Super Saiyan 4. Why not? Why not? Also, some people are wanting Ultra Instinct. Um, you are Omen and thus that can be cool as well as um, Vegeta's Ultra Ego you know if, if we're talking about Xenoverse 3 we're going to be well in the super so <clears throat> that's a real possibility even Gohan Beast transformation and then backing up to the Namekian you can have the Piccolo Orange transformation for the creative characters guys where we're at right now in Dragon Ball Super and with this new game coming out why can't we have it we need to have it it should have been a thing some of them. Super Saiyan 4 should have been a thing in my opinion. It shouldn't be a clothing customization. It should be a transformation. This would be cool. This would be much needed. So, which transformation would you want the most? Like, if you just had to pick one, which one would you pick the most? Let me know once again in the comment section down below, guys. This comment section ought to be pretty full with the stuff that we're talking about. Next up, and this is going to tie in with the races, but it's also going to tie in with this next thing I'm going to talk about. Can we play as the evil villains? Can we, can we play on the evil side? Can we do that? Like, this game is a big multiplayer game. So why not have a PvP kind of deal where, you know, you can play. You're playing against each other, essentially, where I could be evil if I want and you have to fight against me. And we can change the timeline or I could be on the good side. People want to play as evil characters. Hello, Benda, are you listening? People want to play as evil characters. Nothing wrong with playing with the good guys, but a lot of people are leaning more towards playing for the bad side. And Goku Black Hole, all that Goku Black stuff is what threw this into fruition. People want to play as the bad guys. Give us that option. I mean, after all, this is sort of a never-ending fight with the, with the whole time realm stuff. Like, come on, man. Make it possible. And along with that, like I said, the demon race. Tie that in with the character uh, creation, the, the characters. Make a demon race. Why not? That would be crazy fun to be the bad guys for once. And that would also give the game more longevity. You could play through the game as the good side and you could play through the game as the bad side. You could start out as good and end up bad and you could start out bad and end up good. Give us those options. I think that would be crazy dope. If you would like to see that, once again, comment down below. Let me know. Let the world know, people. Next up, yes, Tenkaichi, the tournament. Guys, we have tournament mode in the game, but it's it's scheduled, and you can't do it offline. You gotta play against people online. Can we bring back the old school tournaments where you can literally knock people out of the ring? You can have ring outs and things like that, and you can do it offline. Make it offline. I mean, I don't mind having the world, the Toki Toki or Kantan, whatever the new city going to be, you know, the online tournament. That would be really cool. It's fun to play against other people from time to time. But I'm a big single player guy. Like, I like playing by myself. And I think it would be really, really fun to be able to have a game mode where I can just go play a Tenkaichi tournament. Why not? All the other Dragon Ball games had it except for <clears throat> Kakarot. Ne never wonder i always wonder why they didn't have a tournament mode but anyway i digress tournament mode needs to make a solid return offline tournament mode that way we can play whenever we want to we don't have to wait till the special thing with bandai namco so guys no need for a timestamp video didn't go that long but let me know down in the comment section down below which of these things are you most excited for that you would like to see implemented into the game now I would like to do a more detailed breakdown of each of these things that we talked about. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel for that. This is kind of just a brief run through of some of the major things that we would like to see. Now, there are other things that I want to talk about that I will talk about because we've got plenty of time to talk about it after all. But we'll get to that. You get what I'm saying? So let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Guys, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.